Hello, how's it going? Howdy, howdy. Pretty well, how about you? Uh, I can't complain. And howdy. Hello. And howdy. Hello. Oh, let's see, we're doing easy game this evening. A little trick, uh, if, you, if you're on the chat tab, in roll 20 at the bottom, where it sends, where it has your name and the button send, you can uh, change that name to be your character's name. Ah. And that'll change the portrait in uh, in game as well as the name that appears whenever you make rolls and such. So, and howdy, how goes? How is it in the dungeon today, see? No, oh, it's, it's in the dungeon. Understand. Logan's back down the hall over there. Oh, okay, gotcha. Just, just had to holler in order to be heard. Yeah. Echoing, echoing, echoing. We'll give him a step forward when it's his time to do battle. Honestly, I'm thinking about letting him have the chair so he can watch the dynamics of it a little better. Hmm. Okay. It's all good. What do you think? You want over here? You can see better. Well, it doesn't matter. If you want over here, I'll let you, and then I'll step over and watch my turn. He says he'll follow along on his phone. He'll just get his audio from here. That way we're not echoing over each other. Does that work? Because he's, yeah, he's actually playing Roll20 on his phone. So. Oh, okay. Uh, using the app or uh, trying to use the website? I'm sorry. Is, he, is he using the app or uh, using the website? He said he's on the website. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> The they had doesn't one give time. you like the map and everything. Oh, yeah. okay, I got you. I think he typically typically does it on his laptop at home, but it, it's those young eyes. See, you know, the, the, oh, none yeah. of us could get away with that. So, oh yeah. <laughs> well, I've got I've got his character sheet broke out on mine too. So you know, oh yeah, I can roll for him if he can. Glad you reminded me. Need to pull that up. Where's the character sheet? Somewhere around here. Um, this one. All right. I wish you would actually open it in a new tab where you could just switch from tabs to do it instead of having to get it from the bottom. Yeah. The, well, you can you can make pop out windows. Yeah, that's why I've got them. It's just I got got to dig for them when it's time to roll. Yeah. Are you using um? Just one monitor? Is yeah. Your setup? Yeah. And My desk isn't really set up for it. Even if I tried, I really couldn't unless I stacked them one on top of the other. But yeah, and not. that's that's what I'm suggesting. There's a, you know, kind of, I've got yeah. stacks here and you know, they're, the other. The setup for that's relatively uh, easy to do. Yeah. To, well, it's just the it's just way my desk is a corner desk. Yeah. So it, it it doesn't really have a way, for, you know, it'd be right in my, I probably could see it better because it'd be right in my face, but. <laughs> right. Uh, I do yeah, actually okay. have these little shells and cubbies. And check and see if you put any XP for last time. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's what me and Logan logged in and did early. <laughs> yeah, there was no XP for last time because y'all didn't. Well. Yeah. This time before, we hadn't didn't apply. All right. Last time y'all killed one skeleton. Yeah. There, there was this uh, death-defying trick with a uh, with a goal. Poked it with an arrow, real good. Hello. Hi, Hello. Steven. How goes today? Pretty good. Pretty good. Tom got away from me. I didn't get to the gym. Well, it rained most of the day, so it's probably just as well. Although we did have a really beautiful sunset just an hour or two ago. So I made just made open myself a bowl of oatmeal. I, I love oatmeal. You take you take um take, take a couple of tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of butter, salt, some spices, car, um, cinnamon, and you dissolve those into the melted butter. And then you um you you keep stirring that and it's gonna become candy. It's going to kind of thicken and um, become this, you know. And then you add a half cup of um, nut and uh, nut and no, nut, sorry, nut and fruit and nut trail mix. And you coat those in the glaze you just made. 
And once those are done, you, you, you do it a little bit more so it gets more of the moisture out. And once they're kind of set, then you add more moisture. You add a, a cup of water, milk, and then you uh, gently stir that, stir that around, trying to get the stuff off the bottom, but not break up the um, clusters that you already have. And then you get that to a rolling boil and you add a half cup of um, oats. And then you um, stir it until it's um, all the liquid is absorbed. And you can see the bottom of the pan for a few seconds after you um, move it, move a spoon. You know, your idea of oatmeal is a lot different than my idea of oatmeal. My idea of oatmeal is take this package, open it, throw it in a bowl, add water, nuke it for a minute and a half, and you have oatmeal. Right. Well, it's, it's, it's different between customized and, you know, off the shelf. Uh-huh. I do know the, uh, that this may not have anything to do with, with that issue, but our local public schools have been uh, closed for several days. Uh, due to rampant illness, mm -hmm. and I and I won't say that's unusual because I remember that happening once every couple of years. As a matter of course, you know the flu season hits and takes out a lot of kids. But this time it's not just flu. So uh, what, what's the name of that other one? RSV. Yeah. Thanks. So fun times. I was hurting a couple of days after I got went and got the um both my boosters. I've got my Moderna and um flu shots on the same day in the same arm. That hurt. But not, not enough. Yeah. Well, we're hanging in there. I wanna do whatever you do with your mic to make you make project your voice. I don't really do anything. I just repeat it. Sometimes huh. it gets louder. I don't know. No, that's interesting. Yeah, it's almost um, routine that whenever you first come on, it's, it, the volume is very low. So it may be that the thing is auto adjusting volume as it goes. Maybe, maybe. That's, and it's getting better. Yeah, as you as as we go, it is. There's a mute on the headset that I hit when I first start talking to you. Uh, maybe it takes a while to warm up, you know. You got you got a, a tube there somewhere on the linkage, you know, you, you, go, you know, kind of brightening up the room and warming you up. That's right. Little Jacob's ladder of electricity getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. That's right. That's how you warm the place in winter. Don't knock it. Oh, I guess uh, we can reach it. I'm going to try that hard. Yeah, here we go. So, Stephen, this is that thing that you posted about. It's a little cat toy. Right, right. I see it. Yeah, it, it works well. In fact, he's, he's kind of eyeing it right now. See, the problem is that it doesn't last long on a charge. Oh, there it goes. I'm holding it. Normally, we'd be rolling around and kind of violently bumping into things. Mm -hmm. And for like the first 30 minutes, the cat just like with with his ears half back, followed it around everywhere. And then he started pouncing on it. <laughs> so, but it, the charge lasts for about an hour and that's that's about it. That's about all he, his charge lasts for anyway. So we're so. Yeah. But th this is great. This worked out well. Well, the problem is it's, it gets lost, you know, so. Like, I can't just fire and forget. I have to kind of keep track of it. It'll roll under a, t a table or chair or the bed or whatever. We lost the time. It needs to be like my vacuum cleaner. My vacuum cleaner has a um a map, and it'll show me on my uh, on my phone where the um, last place I saw it was. This thing's not that sophisticated. It, it's got a, a sensor that tells it, "Hey, you hit something," and then it backs up and. Yeah, yeah. He kind of randomly moves and you know on occasion. But nonetheless, it, it's very effective at keeping the cat's attention. In fact, he's gonna go check it out now. And you know, those few seconds that it was out there is like, hmm. The one problem I've had with it, aside from needing to track it, is when they recharge it, it has a little flat its tail is flashing there, and of course he interprets that as it's active, so he goes uh -huh. right. And starts playing with it. 
that that leads to disaster. Mm -hmm. We're not getting in. We're not getting in there now. So. Now the kitten successfully captured a mouse, but they emptied out three of the cabinets under the sink. Oh yeah. Process. You know there were boxes and bottles scattered everywhere. Did y'all sort out the difference between Twitch and Twitter? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was my mistake. They both begin with a T and a W. And an I, and another T. They're very close. When you said it, it had me confused because at first I thought, oh, I didn't know those two companies had merged, you know, and I was sitting there trying to look up news articles about it to see, you know. It's like Elon got Twitter and now he got Twitch too, you know. I, well, no, but uh, that, that's just me. Well, Bezos has Twitch. Yeah. D different sort of evil overlord, but... Uh... A, a more trustworthy evil overlord, no? A, a less objectionable one? Mildly? I think so, he spends more anyway. time counting his money than messing with politics. You know? Yes, that, that is most certainly true. He's Scrooge McDuck, you know. Yeah, he's got his money bin he's doing back dives in. You know? mm -hmm. I always, even as a kid, that looked like it would hurt to me. Diving yeah. into a big okay. pile of metal, right? You know? So mommy he makes it work. He's, he's stuff like that. That's what the bill's for, you know. If you you have to ed, hit it head, edge on to the bill, just kind of shoves it all aside for you. I saw a hilarious uh, short video where it shows a duck quacking, and the person thinks it's going to be a cute video. It's like quack quack, and the next thing is the sound of the quack, but the duck has been skinned and falls on the table. Then the next quack is the duck all chopped up and put into a dish. The next one is the Ooh. dish. The next one is the empty dish after having been eat. <laughs> it's just the look of horror on the person's face as the you know scenes progressed. You know, <laughs> they thought it was going to be a cute animal video. <laughs> they had to do that with uh, with a cow. Moo moo moo. Go <laughs> here's your McDonald's cheeseburger. I'm not sure they would. Yep. Well, who wants to volunteer to uh, share the screen? Not I, I'm too glitchy. I'm going to try to convince Eric to do it so I can see the secrets. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, I just okay, realized I'm going to wait, 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 wait a second. Hmm? Eh? What? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Wait, 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 wait a second. Yeah, no, not you. I don't want to have a whole game of, you know, me showing a hallway. So one of you guys that's actually doing stuff. Mm -hmm. The volunteers. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. I feel like I'm in that uh, same boat as you. Un, what's the unaggressive druid? Is that the word now? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's two words, but it's, it's apt. Yeah. Like you now hang at the back with me most of the time. So it's like. <laughs> yep. Totally different character. Howdy, Mr. Peg. How goes? Uh, it's going all right. Just yep. dealing with uh, sick kids. Oh, well, hope, hope they are. Um, hope they recover soon. Being yeah. being sick is never a positive thing. So, or do you mean they're really cool? Both. Really, my kids are rad. Oh, uh, they're, they're the bomb. Charcoal might help with that. Hey, uh, I can't say that because uh, I'm not allowed in the airport anymore. No, Neff, I think it, uh, Neff, it may have been you, uh, but this goes back to Valley days. Somebody used the um, something was the bomb, and I just totally didn't understand what 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 you were talking about for I don't know weeks, and then finally somebody uh, said, "No, no, no, this this is slang vernacular." Since when? I, I don't know. The kids do it now. That's all, yeah. That was the first song. In the 90s sounds about right for that. Yeah. Vernacular. Yeah. That, that, that is when it happened. It was late 90s. Yeah, all right, so that was the fir first sign it was beginning to happen to us. Mm-hmm. We are getting old. I have no idea what they say now when they want to say something's rad or the bomb or or whatever it is. I think if they're saying it's bad, it's it's oppressing me. I think that's the okay. magic word. I don't even know. Uh, mostly what I hear is the bomb.com. Bomb.com. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and put domain name. <laughs> I mean, that's proactive. He probably has a trademark, you know, lawyers, everything. Yeah. yeah. It was found it, it was made through uh, Big Day dot com. Bomb Inc. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll shut up and stay in my hallway now. <laughs> that that used to be Epson. You know, every time you open one up, it would leak. Bomb dot com, your one stop shop for weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Welcome to MacMood's military management. Yeah, they're in pan pilot, so. Missiles in. We hey, somehow you made that sound Slavic Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't know how you did that. It's, it keeps getting called by this guy about his uh, car warrant. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now that everybody's here, um, Bruner, the short version of what happened uh, uh, last week, your last game. Which wasn't last week, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you stayed behind to keep an eye on the uh, the druid who was not in any mood to to, to adventure into uh, dangerous looking areas. Uh, the party split up, with uh, half going over this direction. Uh, let's see here. Half going over this direction and half going through this tunnel system over here. And uh, they actually found each other in a large room, which you can see on uh, Aslan's map there. Uh, those large wooden pedestals are hovering in midair, uh, no apparent support. Um, uh, above a 60 foot, I believe it was. Yeah, 60. Yeah, 60 foot, 60 feet above the pit floor and at the same level as these balconies. And there's 15 feet of space above them. So this is a large room. Vertically, um, someone I forget who decided that there's a lever over here. Uh, someone I forget who decided to pull it. Uh, this statue over here uh, opened both its hands, um, and a wind blew through the cavern, and uh, everybody in the cavern um i believe everyone in the i think i think everyone was yes everyone was everyone in the cavern was inflicted but temp, with some form of temporary madness um, uh, oh yeah y'all i think had you had you met the two new party members uh i personally haven't no all right well you've got two new party members <laughs> so there are wonderful traveling companions who take treasure and throw it to the pit. Hey, look, the dude was shooting lasers at me. There were a pair of eyeballs. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Not that we know that they did that. <laughs> yeah, filigree uh, grabbed the, uh, when the hands opened, there were these two little gems in each, one in each hand. And filigree there, who is a gnome, uh, grabbed the two gems and threw them into the uh, large uh, 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 open area there. Um, then someone pulled the lever and the uh, uh, winds died down and the hands closed and the madnesses passed eventually. And I'd just like to repeat, it is not my fault. No, it sounds like a good call. You don't know what those gems could have done. Exactly. Not before Sorry. Filigree uh, used most of the arrows he had on him at the time. Um, first shooting this, uh, this, uh, this one of those skeletons, the funky skeletons with the funky heads that was standing on one of the platforms. 
and then he started shooting at uh, Carrick, but he could never hit him from, from all the way across the room. Damn it, GM. I'm a, a potion seller, not an archer. You had a bow, and it said you attack the, the, the nearest target that you could reach. I also determined that this pink stuff growing around is pretty tasty. It's not so tasty anymore. It was tasty for a while. Really nasty aftertaste, apparently. Be burping that flavor up for hours. So the Bruner, the Dort Druid, the Tall Elf, and the Dejin are all hanging out together in a water hallway, right? No, the the uh, the tall elf is um, the tall elf is over this way. Oh, I can't see them. Okay, you can't see him, but he's over this way. Uh, Orvex is hanging out with uh, Bruner and and uh, the druid and the big lady. Bruner, the last we saw of the party was uh, Nitox came out with a handful of that mold that nearly killed us with uh, chrismatic uh, spray, eating it, saying, hey, everything's safe over here. You got to come on. And then he went back into the tunnels. And we're like, no. Yeah, that sounds like a mimic. Yeah, I totally wouldn't have trusted that. Actually, he said everything's fairly safe, but there's a, there's a, there's a golem that we need to kill. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a big old goal in a pit, and if we twist a statue, it comes up top. If we twist a different statue, it goes back down in the pit. So we need people to ambush it when we bring it up top. Um, over here is a room with water in it. Um, and the water is important because it's part of our warnings for this level. Do you have your level warnings? Yeah, I got them right here on the side. Okay, so let's start with uh, Filigree, Callista, and Eldred. What are y'all? Um, Filigree, you've you've calmed down, so don't feel like attacking anything that you see. I'm a pacifist, really. Is you know, these things happen. Did you say passive fist? <laughs> yeah, I'm a passive fist. I, I am not a good archer, though. That's which I guess in this particular case was a blessing. You don't keep hanging out in the hallway. I am. I'm staring down there trying to figure out how difficult it's going to be to get that treasure that I just threw. Well, it's 60 feet down. Do you have rope? Um, probably. He threw, threw while he was mad, so I don't know, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I, you know, I, I don't think I can be blamed. I have a potion of feather fall here somewhere if one of you would like to go down. Of course, I also have a potion. I don't trust your potions. I also have a potion of anvil fall, and I never can remember which of those is which. But. I think I'm right here, so if someone wants this, I would do it myself, but I have a, a policy of not, you know, taking my own merchandise. Um, let me see here. Filigree character sheet. You have rope. What could possibly go wrong? Well, generally ropes come in, generally ropes in this game come in 50 foot increments. Up the last 10 feet. Here, here's my potion of feather fall. Have at it. No, I said to you. I'm smarter than that. I think she's questioning my intelligence. Besides, isn't there still a golem down there? Oh, it's not down there, no. no I was say, this is a job for a warrior. I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Oh, you want to okay, so while they're debating mm -hmm. that... Where is Nidos compared to ground? The docks is at the same level you're at, so it's 60 feet down from him. 
Yeah, there's a rope between the vent where I'm at to the balcony you're standing on. That's how we got there. Yeah. What's down? What's 60 feet down? It's this large thing. It's large and <laughs> has a name. It's, it's growl. Sounds about right. Is it square bricks like it shows? No, I'll sell it. Um, it's rock or concrete or something like that. Gotcha. All right, I'm going to make them touch ropes together, go over the edge. Well, I have to say that we, we have no idea that Filigree threw that. I don't, I don't think. <laughs> I'm looking for treasures, and um, I'll see you go, go to the other side, see what's up over there. Oh. Why don't you jump across these platforms and get that skeleton key in the middle? That's that Night Talk suggests to you. <laughs> you see, I would, but I don't know if they, I don't know if I have the map. But the, the thing is, with, with jumping, is, uh, movement. Here we go. I can jump. If I can make 10 feet of movement, I can jump my strength score. If I can't make 10 feet of movement, I can only jump half my strength score. The the decks are considered ten feet of ten feet wide for the point of, for the purposes of jumping. <clears throat> oh, excellent! Thank you. I I talk because your thumbs up. You got this. <laughs> so how do you measure them? It's fifteen, fifteen. Yeah, no problem, no problem. All right. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, your just... your 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 spirit said it doesn't even care about measuring them. He said you should just go ahead and do the do the jumping. Yeah, I'm measuring. Him. <laughs> I'm jumping. I'm, I'm measuring. Him. Yikes! In a way, you just pull out this potion of healing right here. I'm gonna need this here in a minute. <laughs> All right. Got a special bottle and healing free deal on this right now. Do you have a potion of scraping someone off of stone? Uh, possibly. Give me a minute. Maybe a shovel. I don't know. I suppose the potion of healing technically could do that. We could just make a mold of him and pour, you know, what's left of him in it and pour the potion of healing over the top. We'll find out in the first one if it, if it moves or anything. So I got him to the first one. Okay. okay. All right. Hold on a minute. I need to check something real quick. Yeah, here's the first one. Sir, so it goes. Not actually a floating platform. It's a floating trap door. The, the, doesn't even require a check okay so you land on the, the thing and it bobs like a cork but other than that um it doesn't move it doesn't move sideways it moves up and down a little bit but like it's floating in water right now we have to get a good spring going no um, that's um that's close to 30 feet of Wait for the evening and comes up and join, joins me. I'm going to go on. Um, next round. Yeah. Nothing comes up and joins you. I'm going to go over. Same thing. It <coughs> bobs like a cork, but other than that. Out of a curiosity, if I use Mage Hand and push on the platform from the side, one of the ones he's not standing on, does it move any sideways? It moves a little bit, but that spring back, it, it, it doesn't move much. <laughs> And you can't keep moving it, and then when you let go, it springs back into place. Gotcha. Um, the skeleton key that you're that you're looking at, he's 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 been ah, dead for a while. I just don't have an answer. On. I guess I should put it next. Nice. All right. Mumble a parrot over his bone. And head over to the next one. He's waving at you. Hail and come in. Keep on coming. You're doing very well. <laughs> As I just sit and watch and, and wait, start digging out my buy one, get one free potion of healing deal. Yes. Okay, Steve. You land on that last platform. Have you ever seen Dragon Slayer? I'm waiting for it. Yes, I have. You know the platform he jumps on and goes, eh, no, no, I'm just kidding. Um, everything's fine. What's that? Just looking forward to the game turning into Dragon Slayer. And I shout across the other and say, back up. You can push left or you can push right. Which one is it quick? Right. I chat with these guys and say, have you seen a, a druid run around? 
to be pursued by, joined by uh, the guy with the long stick. You've, you've met these guys already. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, you met them a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, the other around, room. Let's say a quarter of the way around the dungeon. Just y'all split up at the, at the, at the, they went towards the water room and you went towards the, uh, right. Right. the little okay. tunnel. So we've still got area this way is to explore. Far left of the map. Yep, that golem is just in that room to the left of the switch on the wall. Golem's in this room? Nope. Golem is in... This room. Yep, those two stars are statues. And one of them brings the golem up out of the pit, and the other one puts it back down in the pit. <laughs> we we wanted to gather everybody in that room so that we could bring it out of the pit and eat it up. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to go fetch the... the He's down the hall behind. We'll have to do some maneuvering there because there's not enough room for y'all fit by each other at the same time in in the small tunnel. <laughs> they try anyway and get it inextricably wedged together. The way clear. <laughs> I already hold them. They should be right behind me. Brunor, it's another doppelganger. That is not the direction that 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 uh, Carrick left. Prepare to die. Yes. I've got the flaming sword. You have six fingers on your right hand. All right, let's go this way. Uh, um, but the giant, the giant's gonna have to stay someplace because I don't think they can fit into the um. These. Yeah, she's not gonna fit in a hole. She'll stay here. Yeah, she can stay in the um, main area. We'll come back for. Her. All right. Car By the way, that trap door's door. closed again. Which did that door? Yeah. What opened it? Um, you did. You just pushed it into the ceiling. Ah, uh, right. Latch shut. <laughs> Latched open, rather. That doesn't make me nervous at all. All right, I'm going to um go north and you know, making sure that they're following me. Going down. They're following me, right? I look back at uh, Mattel and go, you coming or are you staying? No, she shakes her head. There's, there's no reason to believe that that was scary, particularly with what we saw with uh, with Nitox. I look at her and go, okay. The safety word is khakis. And if That's you hear a thing. scream, right. just run, just get out of here. Yeah, she, she has a pained expression. You know, she doesn't want to abandon uh, anybody. But yeah, she she doesn't think it's safe. The yummy, the, the, the yummy lizard is just perfectly safe around me. But Brenner will go to see what's happening. What about these other two? Are you, you going to tell them to? I told them to stay back and gave them a safety word of if it's clear or not. No, I mean, filigree and... In... Calista. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I told them what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna. I told them we're gonna meet over the other other way, this side. Oh, which way are we going? Left. Yeah. He wants you to follow him around. He's right here currently. Past, uh, basically back the way you came, and then right. into the tunnel that he had. Gone through. Um, My tunnel's better. So a parade of doppelgangers walk past Matt too. <laughs> yeah, everyone says he's going. So. We're going to join these other guys over here. Go Free back up our tunnel. Now Tox is there. Right. Since he's the I'm last one there. coming through, Orvex asks, "What the hell is going on over here? What the what the hell went went on in there?" We have a golem to fight. No, no, he's asking Fillory because that's wow. the last person in the chain. Um, I, I, I'm not sure. Things just kind of went backwards for just a few moments. It's all better now. The Druid and Orvik share a look. Am I going the right way? Uh, where are you at? Yes, you are. Okay. I would ask if I was going the right way, but I didn't see which way she went, so. 
She okay. went in this tunnel right here. Yeah, just passed. I, I told him, not to that we're going, I'm, we're going over there and head off this way. I'll just keep wandering around. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> there you go. I don't. I don't think we ever opened that door. Yeah, you never did open that door. This door. Yeah, I think oh. I moved. A, hold on a minute. Me, yeah, that door is not open. Okay. So how did we get from there to here? Where you were in that little vent going south. There's a rope bridge from there to the balcony that has the switch. And there's a hole here. All oh, right. All right, so we take the rope bridge. I drew your rope bridge so you can see, I see it. it. Thank you. Yeah, the, that room is is nice uh, that you're in there, Callista. Let's see. That's, this room is shaped like a drum or cylinder lying on its side with a stone south end tapering towards a small stone door. Carvings of demons decorate the stonework, stonework with flickering flames in all their eyes. Seems like a nice place. I love what they've done with the decorations. But yeah, uh, Carrick actually went the other way. There's a small tunnel over here. The other way. Okay, I see it. Carrick, did you get lost? No, I don't know. <clears throat> How do you want to work this? Just go kill it. You'll be fine. Nighthawks? Well, I don't remember, but Nighthawks remembers which one brings them up and which one brings them down. We're just going to. If this spot down here on the south is where he appears, we'll talk about that. Say hey, he's going to appear right there when we turn that statue. So those with melee weapons stand ready. Those with ranged weapons stand on the other side of the pit. Get ready to shoot. And we'll bring them up and beat them down. The pit actually has a. By the way, just in case you, the pit has a uh, wall of force on top of it. So, and it is. Is that one's the one that teleports it out? And where did he come out when he came out? Right there. Okay. And the statue Bruner is next to. If things go badly, Bruner can turn around and turn it, send them back down the pit. Hey, Bruner, why don't you go across over here? All right, give me a second. I'll let Bruner come behind me. Reach up. Is the dude facing the direction this token says he's facing because he'll agree his plan is to be behind him at all times. Um, they don't actually do facing in fifth edition. It's all flanking and, and stuff like that. Okay. Let's move him here. And Kirk. Hey, go ahead. He says I can search all of them. Started. I have a 14 hits. I thought I was sorry to look like on that one. You are fortunate. 14 does hit. Is it bloody? It's a golem. I would think you would just be like oozing yes, clay or pretty. something. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> oozing clay. It's just a lesson you're muslin. Okay. Callista? One second. I in it because I've I'm having to pull the book out. I've never played Barbarian before. <laughs> Barbarians are easy. You just run at it and hit things as hard as you can with stick. I have a lot of experience playing Barbarians. They're the easiest characters in the world to play. Find a thing, hit it with a stick really hard. That's why Miki always did it. You probably also want to say, I'm raging and recklessly attacking. Those are the two Yeah, that, that's what phrases. I'm looking at right now in the book. I say you should have this stuff on your character sheet, shouldn't you? It's on there, but it doesn't tell me anything about it. There should be on the character sheet, if you look at... It's got the ability listed there. Is that the little... There is a... You can click on the ability, and it will open it up. Oh, it pulls down. Okay. And there's also a little speech bubble. If you want to hit a speech bubble, it'll drop it into chat. If you're needed to need to show it to other players versus okay. somebody, but in the end, it comes down to run at things, re yell really loud, run at things, and hit them with a stick. I don't know about the yelling I mean, part. It could be a quiet sound. 
No, if, if you're going to be a barbarian, you got to lie. No, we. we. No, not we. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're this discussion. You're not our. All right. So yeah, I wanted to raise. Now, the one thing you need to check is they have things that are actions and bonus actions and. Right. Things like that. Rage and bonus action. And you get one action and one bonus action. Okay. Yeah, I think the rage is a bonus, and you can attack. And if you attack, there's a attack feature called Reckless Attack that gives you advantage on all your attacks. The bad part about okay. that is anything attacking you will also get advantage. Here, I think. What are the odds it'll attack it's you? It's a minor, right? Yeah, it's a minor, a minor feature of the thing. It's not that big of a deal. I have potions of healing ready for you. Don't worry. Oops. I also have potions of Xanax when you get ready to get out of that rage. Yeah, it's going to be sleepy time for you. All right. So <laughs> when I was making the character, I had a really hard time trying to find weapons that were in the book on the... Uh... So I know <laughs> just from books I read that a glaze is like a long stick with a blade off. Yes. Okay. Does it have, have do I need to move it has reach to move to be able to reach him? No. Okay. Then that's what I'm doing with the rage. See, you're hitting it with the stick from a distance. Do I need to do anything special as far as using the rage in the attack or or just click on the, the glaive and go from there. So I don't know. Okay. There should be. Hold on a minute. Let me look at your Oh, wait. There's. Sheet. You see where it's got a. You see on the. Uh, where it got your weapons listed? There's yeah. a box the... down below that says rage damage. Got it. Yeah. Check that before you do your attack. Okay. And that would be this. <laughs> of course it is. You should have. Yeah, probably two attacks at that level. You have multi attack. Um, don't see multi attack. I reckless attack. I see a frenzy. Extra attack. Yeah, the fifth level is extra attack. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, you have extra attack. Yeah. So yes. again. Ooh, nice. So that's a crit. <clears throat> Ooh, at ninth level, she has brutal critical. If she's level nine, I think she is. I am. Brutal criticals mean one more extra weapon damage die with a crit, so they're doubling them. Okay. So roll one d ten. Yeah. And where do I? The easiest way is like. Quick and easy way is just type slash roll 1d10. Okay. It's better than that. There you go. Twice is slightly good. better. 10, 11, 17. Okay. You hit with your stick. Okay. It does. Okay. Just in case that thing has regen or something. Good old chill touch. Which is neither a chill nor a touch. Best name spell. Makes really good ice water, though. Why would you want to swat someone's eye? Eh, you know, it, it comes up. I throw what eyes, I swat eyes. I say. Cyclopses are out there. Exactly. That's true. That would be very good against the Cyclops, yeah. Slap plastic thing on a big metal hand. You're sitting there whacking the Cyclops. Venerous. Okay. I run into them all the time on the bicycle trails. Run into Cyclops on the bicycle trails? Yeah, where do you think they frequent? Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know they rode bicycles, but, you know, good for them. It's it's handy to stay fit. It's more of those little penny farting bikes, the big wheel and the little tiny wheel. Oh, okay. 
I would think their depth perception would be a problem, though, and it seems like that would be dangerous for bike riding. Would the danger ever stop anybody from participating in these activities? So they're redneck golems. Both those redneck yeah. cyclops. And you know, our whole group has willingly walked into a place called the Tomb of Annihilation. So you know. well, technically, I was thrown into the Tomb of Annihilation due to a slight misunderstanding. Still agree. Um, since he's got folks around him, I should be able to use sneak attack with my bow, shouldn't I? You're out of arrows. Oh, okay. Um, then we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way and get into melee range and poke it uh, with the rapier. Okay. Do I get sneak attack? Yes. Okay. So how do I make that go with the rapier? Um, there should be a checkbox on your uh, where your oh, weapons yep. are listed. Yep, there sure is. Okay. 15 hits. And that is enough to kill it. Woo! Kill star. What faction hits did he hit when it died? Yeah. Um, uh, no, I am of golems. The clan crush bone loves you. Mike was part of the I say there was a, a key on that thing's neck. Yes, there was. Wait, how did that? Who was we, it was kind of the place where it had ended and his shoulders began. I mean, the next thing didn't seem like it was just support. that thing, you know. You know, can go down on a rope, check out the end chest. And... No, you're not. There's a oh. force field covering the entrance of the pit. Oh, right, you're right. right, you're right. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even think that you could, that you, you could have walked on it. All right, Kirk's going to stand on this thing over here and have somebody... Um... Susie stands there and I talk turns the other side. You... Okay. <laughs> Down in the pit. All right. I've got the key. Check out the M chest. Okay, the chest is an ornate chest. Looks like it weighs about 250 odd pounds. Um, it's got a little bitty lock on it with a little silver, say, that fits this uh, silver, that the silver key fits. How do you get out? The other statue does it. Uh, yeah, once you open the thing, we'll pick up the chest. And then yeah. inside this massive chest are two little one inch diameter glass eyeballs resting on a red cushion. One eyeball is, eyeball is pale green and the other is pink. He's going to pick the whole chest up before opening it and get teleported back up and then find a clear spot and with, with people around to do it. I, I think it might be safe if you open it while you're down there below the wall of force. <laughs> I just turn the dot back on and so what's what's weighing down the chest after I get the eyeballs out? The chest. Two hundred and fifty pound put chest. In... Might come in handy, put it in the umbrella hole. <laughs> yeah, we may wind up with a cobalt running down a ravine below us. Well that's interesting. Two spherical eyes of different colors. Haven't seen anything like that in this dungeon before. We happen to have a mirror around the corner that has round spots on it. See, we didn't need those other ones. We had these. Other ones? What are you talking about? Um, nothing. <laughs> no other ones. How many I have? Just saying, if there had been other ones, we wouldn't have needed them. How many do, do we need? Oh. How many, you mean how many indentations are there that have matched those exact same size um, divots? Um, yes. All right, let me see. No, 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 not the boar's head. We've already done the boar's head. Ten. Yeah, we just need eight more. These are the first two we found. Do we need all ten, or can those two do anything by themselves? I saw this old play called Stargate. It was really neat, and you needed just a certain number of them, not all of them. <laughs> I got my eye on you, Wazowski. Y'all are y'all gonna go down there and try to put the the eyes in slots? That's the worst that could happen. 
Sounds like a volunteer. Well, I'm going to go back and get uh, <laughs> Matt, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was going to let Venerous do it. He seems... Hey, Philadry, do you know anything about opening locked doors? Uh, a little bit. By the way, before he leaves, Philadry bends down and puts a little bit of the golem's clay in our flasks. Well, Turns around and says, it's good for poison. Trust me. What Check door am I unlocking? Right here. Oh, okay. It's an easier way to get in and out. Okay. Um, DM, what do I need to roll? I am good at all that EV stuff. I just lock picks as an item. You make it, you roll your um, you roll your lock pick thing over on the left hand side. I, I I would like to inspect this door before I unlock it with the lock picks. Uh, well, yes. there's nothing to. <laughs> there is no handle. There is no keyhole. Um, mage, this is not a door for the thief. It's a door really? for the mage. I'd say it the door literally cannot be unlocked from this side. Oh, then it's a door for the barbarian. Barbarian, come kick this door down. Well, if you can't do it, I understand, and I'll just lower my expectations for the future. <laughs> you know, I always say the lower your expectations, the more likely I am to meet them. Need a potion? I got you covered. Magical doors with no not my part. So, Chris, do you say something about the other, lock, the other eyes? I don't know anything about other eyes. Okay. I guess I can try to see if I can knock it down. Don't know that it'd be very successful. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me see if this door, I see. Uh, it was just a thought. I mean, Knocking doors down is what you do. We have a way around that door, so I wouldn't expend too much of our effort on it. I was going to say, wasn't I in the room well, behind this door check. a minute ago? Yeah, you were in the room behind that door a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, but it's much more dramatic if you kick the door in rather than go around and unlock the door. I mean... Well, then go for it. More power I don't to like you. I can kick a door down to you. Well, you wanted to kick it down. Uh, two and a half feet tall. You. You're the barbarian. That's your job. <laughs> I suppose it depends on the size of the door. I mean, stay in the lane. That 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 door right there is not for me to kick down. <laughs> stay in your lane, barbarian. If you were to encounter a forest of brownies, you know, their little houses, you could probably kick down all their doors. I, I could probably kick those doors. Yes, but again. Humble potion salesman. I don't kick doors. Make a DC. So make a uh, strength athletics check. I thought Try a lot of salesmen put their foot in. That's a different thing. All right. Athletics. That is not good enough. Oh, my back. Miki and Zeke could have knocked the door down. Well, that's a well-made door. Tag will come over and help. I'm going to wander back around the other direction. The Runner other side of the door. To Matt too. <laughs> Stand on the other side. Right, let's, go, let's go over to Brunner and Matsu and, and, and Orvex here. So Brunner shows up. <laughs> I say khakis. So what's going on? Well, apparently uh, met some new people. Uh, they seem friendly. Go to go on. And uh, they're trying to force their way through a door. Carrick opened the chest. Luckily did not get possessed by another spirit. Oh, all right. So, yeah. You've gone. You've come back. And in, in acceptable fashion, they've proven that it's uh, reasonably safe. So... Uh, she goes back to the gin and says, I'm really sorry about this. Are you okay here? Oh, yes. All right. And then Orvix, are you okay here or do you want to come with? Orvix will stick with, with y'all. All right. So, we go. Here and here and everywhere and might as well get the tour while I'm here. So. Okay, the tour takes you over here. No, I, I, I know where I'm going. Yeah. 
Okay. So we walk into this this horrendous sound of mashing and bashing and grunting and what are you doing? Trying to open a door. I was just over there. That's what I told them. They wanted to kick down. Uh huh. Okay. It's more dramatic. Did anyone get hurt? No. Okay. Well, hi, Matthew. How are you doing? Well, since someone reasonably proved that this was not a uh, death trap, then it seems like it's reasonably safe to come through. Are you feeling okay? You haven't been eating any of that mold lately? Well, you got to eat it in small amounts, otherwise you'll ruin your appetite. You or know, die. Right? Um, that's what I'm concerned about. No poison? <laughs> no. I was curious. What do you know about doppelgangers? Oh, well. Um, shapeshifter? Shapeshifters. Yeah. Hmm. I've heard they like to blend in and like because of that they like clothing that is very neutral and they're a real big obsession with khakis um no i don't think that's true nice try though i'm pretty sure that's what all the stories say anyway mm -hmm. and like what was the target for the door what was mm -hmm. the target for the door oh 26. getting help would do what Give you advantage. Uh, never mind. Oh. So what happened out here? All these platforms and everything. Which are floating in midair, 60 feet above the ground. Very impressive. Oh, I see. He didn't actually pick it up, as I recall. Yeah, Carrie jumped out no, there. No, he, he prayed over it and then jumped again. Oh, he did not pick key. it up. I didn't do anything with the bones. Uh -huh. I got the head or whatever. Yeah, he he got. The oh. So, is there anything down there, and or, or is it just a big drop? Yes, it's true, baby. I'm certain there's nothing of value down there. Last chance. Well, they're doing that where the eye, other eyes went. What other eyes? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she keeps going on about some other eyes. I don't know what she's talking about. So the druid ignores ignores the gnome and. Looks over at the tiefling. What other eyes? The ones he swore about dropping. Uh huh. And what eyes? What do they look like? I don't know. It's too far back. It's kind of so like this. Carrot holds up the two. So they're down there someplace. Okay. So the druid kind of yawns, turns into a giant eagle, and grits the eyes. Okay. So there's two more eyes. And then druid comes back with the eyes. You mean these eyes? I have never seen those eyes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's continue. All right. Carrick is in sight of the next door. That's the mirror with the indentation. Sure. Right, right, right. Okay, never mind then. That's the mirror. Were you going to do anything with the eyes? Yes, the mirror, yes, you're or? right. We <laughs> you use the ones we had. And now we've got four. Okay, so you start oh, it's just putting... snapping the eyes in, and they they do, they, they kind of snap in place and glow. Do they seem to have a preference on where they're going? No. Make a perception check. Steve, you've looked better. All right, I pull the eye out. Can I? Um, All right, I, um, I hate yeah, yeah, you can. that. I've, I've got a shift button on my... Or a, a space button on my mouse, easy to hit, and I roll extra. Um, I'm gonna get the hell away from it and try to assess what it did. Um, Callista, he he looked different in the mirror than he did in standing in front of the mirror. Of course, you couldn't see the front of him, but you, what you could see. He didn't look, he didn't change in appearance any. Yet in the mirror, he started to, little bits of hair started falling out, and his, his skin took on a pallor. Oh, that's different. In fact, your skin started to gray a little bit, too. You could see your reflection in the distance. 
I don't like that. <clears throat> Move that last side. All right, that's a mirror. Now, why do we have a lot of ways to play? Where are we going? What's, what's new? To kill the golem and yeah. check out the chest. Yeah. I think the next step is that passageway of water. Back, back where um, Matthew was? Yeah. 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 Yeah, if y'all are done with the mirror, we can move on. I see. Let's just drip me down here to grab some all the way back. I am. I, so what are you talking about? I, I, I. Has this been looted? Yes, yeah, everything's been looted through here. So how do we use the water and water ring? Okay. Give me a second here. What in the world is one else? Yeah, I don't know this, but last time it's only y'all walked around in that room and there was like a sheet of water at the north end. And like a bunch of different headed like half human with hawk head type stuff all around the walls with different weapons in their hands. Still puddles of water cover the floor in this fifteen foot wide hallway. The walls are slick with moisture and set with murals showing animal headed humanoids in armor. Most of which appear to brandish real weapons hanging on the walls. A three foot high hallway in the east wall is flush with the floor. At the far end of the hall of the hall, a rippling, transparent current of water fills a stone archway. Beyond the curtain you see another hallway that looks similar to the one in which you stand. Recommendations? How how could you look around? Uh, South Hall. From south to north, the warriors of weapons in the hall, uh, stork headed males with hand axes. Lizard-headed female with maces. Panther-headed male with blowguns. Unarmed hawk-headed females. Goat-headed males with sickles. Frog-headed females with tridents. And the weapons are, let's see, the weapons are brass, but in very poor condition. Um, the wood in the weapons is, is rotted and they're held in position with hooks that make it look like they're being held by the murals right now he's gonna mess with the first one try to extract the wedding not forcibly but just you know just... it takes no real effort to get the axes hand axes off right they go to the um bag of holding go to the next one um again their maces um no real effort there. So they're just held on there with rusty hooks. That can't be working. I didn't do it all the way up. Make sure that good. Don't care. Maybe a hoarder. All right. Really blow like guns are in right. sad enough shape that they they just break whenever you try to pull them off. Yeah, I don't think these weapons are dangerous. Um, you have been here. Uh, let's see here. Come on. You find a illusionary wall. This is the one where the unarmed ones um, are at. Uh, and in there is a contains a plinth with a purple crystal eyeball. Ah, uh, okay. I had to look up plinth. All right. Um, you see, we want to. Um, Come look at this before I am looking at it. Nobody has a good prep room or wants to come check this out. You haven't said for prep room, sure. Check. I'm not quite sure what he would say. I'll look at it. All right. Make perception checks, everybody that is looking at these plants. I don't see it. What plant? I don't see any plant. Just drop the illusion so that they get another. Your eyes are closed, barbarian. <laughs> Barbarians. Looking at opposite wall. What's a plant? Trap pillar, like you'd put a bust on. You see no traps or other. I dated a girl like that once. Other nefarious devices. It's just a stone column with a one inch diameter crystal. Eyeball looking sphere on top of it. All right, grab the eyeball and go to the next. Uh, goat headed males with sickles and frog headed females with tridents. Tell me what, tell me about this thing here. 
A clear curtain of water forms a one-foot-thick, seven-foot-high, ten-foot-wide curtain between the two hallways. I'm going to approach closer. Do I see what can I see through the, um, through the curtain? Yeah, it is. Basically, you see the same thing on the other side. So I want to kind of bring a to move the rope. So you, you've, you've picked up all the, the weapons and stuff and you've put them all in the bag of holding, right? In a bag, in a, in a bag of holding. And I'm going to throw them someplace. You're going to what? I'm going to offload them someplace. They're, I'm not going to keep them. They're, they're, they're junk. But I just don't want them in the hands of the um, sectors of the of tapestry. So he has a bag of weapons um, inside a bag of holding. Okay. And that finds a good place for him, and then he'll drop the sword in. Put the weapons in. All right, nobody come up. I'm going to go through. The risk of um, spoiling a good moment. Let me just read a warning. Walk through water with weapon in hand. I got a weapon in hand. Say so. See, the fiery thing, oh, the fire thing's new with water. Oh, well. Now, now, don't ruin air. It's fun. I know, I know. Okay, well, I'm just going to read you this, this this first sentence. Actually, the first two sentences. If any creature passes through the curtain of water carrying a trident, nothing happens. Any trident will do, not just the ones in the hallways. Nope, he's not going to do that. Let's see. Fury, Eldred, Callista, Venris, Carrick, all make DC 15 strength saving throws, please. I'd love to, but don't know how to do that, and I don't think I'm going to be very good at it anyway. You have inspiration, proficiency bonus, and the box down below that. It's to the right of your strength sector. Yeah, okay. not not terribly strong. Although stronger than Carrick, apparently. I, I, have, I have a potion for that, Carrick. I can help you out. Instant muscle potion. All right. So you're on this side. This is creatine. As you step through, so you get thrown all the way to the end of the hall. <laughs> and filigree, you get thrown to the end of the hall. So I'm up here with him now. No, you're you're down at the butt at the bottom. Oh, okay. Here's the other hallway. Okay. The the wave erupted from the center. So now the rest of us are all wet. I have a potion for that. You each take sixteen points of damage. Ow! But the ones that were that that got swept to the end of the hall. Okay. That's still ow. Um, everybody else that's in the corridor does take eight damage. Um, Bruner, Matsu, Nitox, Orbex, y'all are fine. The water doesn't actually it it doesn't actually splash out. Just kind of disappears. No, yeah, see, Neff, he got to have his fun after all. <laughs> we Nip talks and Orvis are having some tea. You could join us for tea, Matthew. Brunner's just playing me, the bagpipe. Let me, yeah, let me set the broken bones first. Very good, very good. We got a small passageway that leads this way. We got more of the um, bricks and fungus that, that, that way. Yeah, maybe we should not go through the wall of water by taking damage next time. So obviously, that wasn't the right way to do it. Seemed like a good Does idea. your glaive have to have three pointy bits on it? No. One. That's probably good enough. Who took full damage on this side? Filigree. Filigree. I think it was Filigree. Yeah, Filigree. you got 13 back. And... Okay, yeah, Pellegrini needs some assistance. Why I have a potion for that. His potions? <laughs> because a good salesman does not sample his own merchandise. If you sample the merchandise, then you lose money. You know who That's else doesn't sample merchandise? That's a good potion I could sell to someone else. It creates scarcity and drives the price up. Exactly. Who is that now? People. There's another type of person that doesn't sample the merchandise. That's those that know the merchandise is no good. Right? <laughs> right. Pilligree pulls out one of his uh, potions and drinks it. There. Are you happy? I lost money. Depends. What kind of potion was that? 
It was a healing potion. Would you like one? I'm good for now. Okay. I was running a sale, but I can't promise you it'll still be on when you need it. Kind of holler down the hall. You still alive over there, Carrick? I'm still alive. Okay. That's I'll, I'll go over to you. Take the, take the 10 foot pole, put it across the uh, tie ropes to it. So, everybody. So, what are you going to do? Take two 10 foot poles, put them on um, the receiver with our writing tool. So, we do, you know, you will, um, we'll put a, we'll ten, put a 10 foot pole here and a 10 foot pole here. And then we'll um, tie ropes to them. So, whichever way we get, get knocked, we um, don't move very far. Or, or two halves if you move pretty far. Yeah. Right, right. Well, the problem is the only poles you have are the tridents. You pass the tridents back through the waterfall, nothing happens. Yeah, we don't know the thing about the tridents, though. That was a gimme from for me. Yeah, no, I'm just saying that's what happens. Those are the only poles he has with him. But those weren't in his hand. Right, but what I'm saying is we don't know that that's a solution to the puzzle. That's what I'm saying. That's that, how that he finds out. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, uh, that might be one way you try it is just try different weapon types until you don't until you're dead. You know, so that that would be an option. Um, oh, oh, but, sword doesn't work. Let's try uh, <laughs> that glaive. Ow! Oh, no, that's not it either. So, um, hey, Carrick, see if you have a little illusionary wall thing over there too. He's gonna check out, check things out. He's been making his perception checks. Yeah, come on. Good intuition. You guys. Oh, yeah. There it is. Ignore the fact that there's a one little dot there. I put that there accidentally. It's but you, you, you get the point. There is a thing, and that has a bright green eyeball. Ooh. Um, anything else? Just one third eyeball? Yes. That's it. Step in and grab the eyeball. Or reach in and grab the eyeball. So, question for folks that went down scary looking uh, tunnel. What was down on the other end? The other half of the room that they were in before. Okay, so it didn't curve back up this way. You didn't know. That. All right. Sure, because there's another pipe being on the right up ahead. I mean, it depends north. So, there's two ways north. Up this way. Is this room with the uh, face north of the main stairway where we saw a dwarf guy? To a little yes. people, yeah. So, um, I vaguely remember that he came into that room. Kubazan thinks y'all should just ha say, Kubazan thinks, tell Carrick, Kubazan thinks that he, y'all should just have everybody just march through the, the yeah. waterfall. What's the worst that could happen? I, I'm thinking death is the worst that could happen. Well, it's seven feet wide, so we could have three or four of us line up on it. And jump through simultaneously. That way, at least it's always all good to have friends time. when you die. Yeah, yeah. That, it's always good to have friends with you when you die. Yeah, let me get out of here. By when we do that. So if we're going, well, you do have the 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 walk through water with weapon in hand, and and you at least have the clue that okay, that's it, it's. You do know it's not Carrick's sword. Carrick, I think you need to bring the, those weapons back to us. He's going to he can go down here. He's going to sort through the weapons. Any of them different condition than the others? Any of them at a better condition, I should say? No, they're all pretty, pretty, uh, pretty ragged. <clears throat> and so are the ones on this side. Same hey, set of weapons on you, this side. What happens if you throw something inanimate through there? Bruner, your bagpipes. <laughs> Bruner clutches them tightly. I've never heard what wet bagpipes sound like. This could be an interesting opportunity. So he's going to throw a, a, a hand axe through the curtain. Does it do anything? Who's the aiming at on the other side? <laughs> yeah, <John. you're> not <laughs> moving. <laughs> he's going to start throwing weapons across the, the water. I'm just going to go around this. Well, 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 Joan is the one who asked me to send, send weapons that way. I'm just going to ask. What it, whatever he does, you folks to need to. Get, yeah, whatever you, whatever he does, you guys need to get out of the hall. If there's any reaction at all, you take damage. <laughs> so, so retreat, and then um, 
just try one of the weapons that you took down. You know, just should just try yeah. one, whatever, and uh, see Don't what you happens. Just gather all the weapons, wrap your like, arms around all the weapons, and walk through. What's the worst that could happen? Can you hold them all in your hand? Hey, that sounds like a really good idea. Actually, yeah, that's <laughs> Kubica. See, I don't know who that is, but that sounds like a really good idea for you to do. That's, that sounds very reasonable for us. Mm-hmm. You're holding up the tea, the little tea. So do we see Carrick slam into the wall again? The Triton is the only exotic weapon. Is that Titan? The Triton is an exotic weapon, isn't it? I don't remember. Um, I don't think they really do much with exotic weapons anymore. It's just considered martial in the rule book. All right, all right, all right. Now he's going to try to go through with a couple of weapons in his hand. Whatever sounds good. You already told us try to try it. I got a Kubazan thinks just get one of everyone and just hold them all in. I'm going to do that. Hold what I, hold what I can, walk through the curtain. And so you're wet. that you're unharmed. Okay. So this is going to be a great plan until you get to the gnome. Well, Carrot can pick up the gnome and carry it with him. Bunch of weapons under one arm, gnome under the other. But it seems like you found a workaround. So, all right. So finish up the tea and execute the workaround, since it seems reasonably safe to do. You can use it like a okay, litter. So y'all were able to get everybody across. All right. Okay. So shall we go check out the um the small tunnel first? No objections. It's a great idea. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we'll be right here behind you. Yeah, he's okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> this is what happened last time. Let me see. Thirty-two. Actually, make me a perception check. Okay. You feel the tunnel you're in sink and turn at the same time. Back check quickly. Super fun heavy slide. Hmm? Do you mean it moved or it just goes downhill? It goes down. It corkscrewed down. So he was in north-south tunnel. Now he's in an east-west tunnel. Try to find the trigger. I'm asking, is the tunnel moving, or is it just hard to show on a map that it's corkscrewing? It's 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 <laughs> not set up on the map for me to do anything with. I don't think. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can see what's the map's background. No, 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 no. Nope, that's not. There is. No, it's not an object. So they haven't done anything for me to show on this map. Uh, but what has happened is the tunnel has just dropped. About how far? Not much. Okay. Five feet. It's about the height of the tunnel. So did we hear a blood-curdling scream or a shocked expression or a wee or something from Carrick? You heard a grinding of stone. Oh, okay. About five feet. Did we hear that? Or did it come out more like woof, woof, woof? Um, stone is the stone is thick enough you probably don't hear anything uh, from where y'all are at. Okay. That sounded ominous. Gonna look through the trigger. There is a plate right in the middle of the corridor. It's big enough that you couldn't have not stepped on it. Right. Can I reset it? Uh, it When you got off of it, it pops back up level. But it doesn't seem to do anything if you... So did something close above me? I'm still in the tube. In the you're still in the tube. The tube, you're looking down the sill. If you're looking down from above, okay? Right. The tube did this. Right. So you went down and rotated around in the pivot point of where you were you were at. Okay. I went down five feet. Can I step up? No, 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 no. That's you're 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 in this tunnel. That 
ignore the rest okay. of the. Gotcha. Yeah, you're seeing the matrix right. there, so yeah, you kind of ignore. Yeah, it. you're you're seeing the matrix there. Okay. Ignore that. Actually, there was something I could have done. Oh no, there wasn't. Oh, I see what it's doing. Yeah. So you heard a grinding of stone, and now you don't hear anything. So how long do you guys want to give before we move on? <laughs> I'm sure. Is anyone going. going to go check? Is anyone going to go check on him? Uh, I'll, I'll go look. No, no, no. He went through the small tunnel. It's actually down the, the, the narrow I'll... tunnel. Yeah, over here. Yeah, I'll leave me pipes over his bones. Yeah, yeah. If you don't hear my bagpipes, you know something went wrong. Okay, make me a perception check. I always say I do hear his bagpipes. Something went wrong. Yeah, but that was just the bagpipes being played is what went wrong. Okay. But... So there's nothing is in this pipe for me to grasp. No. Maul or mutilate. No, there is nothing in here. It is dark except for your flaming torch, your flaming sword, and uh, um. There's uh, what's the yeah. ends? What, what am I looking at when I look at the ends? Um, just flat stone. Right. That actually, where you're at there, actually passes. Uh, hold on, I get on right later. This actually passes underneath. Ah, right. Or okay. actually over. I see. I see. Well, I'm gonna go to the midpoint and um. Take out my hammer. Bruner. Okay. Yes. There is a about 10 feet in to the corridor. So about here is a corpse. I found carrot. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like he's a doesn't look like carrot. It looks like he's dragonborn. Wrath. I mean, oh, thank God, it's not Carrick. That's about here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay back as far as I can and poke it with my glaive. See what happens. Um. Well, if you just poke it, nothing happens. Um. Do you prod it enough to move it? Yeah. Okay, you can you can make it move a little bit. Um. It, it's too awkward in here without getting closer to it to give it a good shove if you want to do that. We'll just we'll give it a nudge. Yeah, nothing nothing particular happens but just a nudge. Alright, I'll uh scooch my way back to the parking be like uh no sign of Carrick, just uh an old corpse. I mean I know Carrick isn't that good looking, but that's kind of rude. No, it's not even the same species. Oh? Yeah, it's um, a lot like you. <laughs> you mean magnificent? No, we're close. Hmm. Can you drag it out of there? I need a hook. I'll... <laughs> I'll see if I can't drag it out. Come back. No, it just fell apart. It's it's got enough it's got enough and clothing a, and stuff all over the tunnel. Without too much difficulty. Drag it out. All right. I'll do that. Okay. Um it's not wearing any armor. Um is carrying a which which means Eric already picked it. All right. Is carrying a Odd weapon. Uh, let's see if I can. Well, it was tried. And he was already prepared. No, there's a description. Doesn't give a picture of it. I remember seeing a picture of it somewhere, but I don't have. Sounds like a. It's like a spear. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um. It's got a Dungeoneer's pack, a pouch containing eight gold pieces, um, an ivory black back scratcher shaped like a dinosaur claw, a holy symbol of Bahamut, Ooh. and a red crystal eyeball measuring one inch in diameter. 
Jim with these eyeballs. That makes number seven. Yeah, whoever's holding all those, just like pass that back. Oh, uh, that would be Carrick. Well, I'll just pocket this myself. <laughs> and I'll take the Equa. <laughs> so, what else did you see over there? Uh, just this big guy in the middle? Yeah, this guy and more tunnel. Hmm. Called out, no one answered. No one told me to stop playing the bagpipes. I know Carrick's not down there. Well, the last time we had something like this, do you remember the, the tunnel that went circular? Vertically, uh, you know, you, yes, yeah. it looked identical, but you had uh, the body, and you know, then yeah, so you may be looking at something that's the same but different, you know what I mean? Mm. What the hell is that? Okay, I thought the, the cat made a monstrous yawn over there. <laughs> um, the, the grinding is, is what's got me interested. Because that, that suggests some, suggests rather than kind of a magical weird thing, some sort of mechanical weird thing. Agreed. And mechanical weird things, they're probably not traveling far unless it squished him. I hope not. He's carrying all of her stuff. Yeah, that, that would suck. So maybe Phil agrees to go and check it out. Look for traps. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, Daniel, no, go for it. I knew someone was going to bring that up eventually. <laughs> he's, so, he's so cool. He comes with his own theme music. That's right. And it's sung with bag wipes. All right. Um, I don't know what I'm doing to check for traps, but I am attempting to make perception check. Okay. Um, right here. You find a seam in the rock that goes all the way around the tunnel. Hmm. Just before you get to the center, there is a pad that is about... It's the width of the tunnel, and it's long enough that you couldn't... Even a full-size person couldn't, you know, get over it without touching it. Um, it looks like it will, it's pressure plate. Okay, so you couldn't even jump it? No, the tunnel's too small for you to jump. Okay. Um, guys, found one. It's not really the disarmy kind. That's unfortunate. Mm. I heard tell of a great Dragonborn warrior named Jackie Dan. He was do yeah. something in these cases where he would walk on the walls pushing out with his hands and legs without having to touch the ground. Sounds like a great job for you. Go for it. I'm going to be back around here while I wait for you to... <laughs> hang on, hang on. No need for all that. Um, summon beast. And go have my wolf go stand on the pressure plate. It turns towards you four steps on the plate with sad forlorn eyes. It's a spirit. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's it, it'll be it'll be okay. We'll, we 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 will meet again. His tail droops as he steps forward. It's already it's already oh. dead. So you know it's no. no. What you it's a spirit. About? He's not dead. Not a ghost. He's a spirit. The Jura thing. Okay. The the uh, the wolf. Puts its weight on the plate and it and to agree sees that the tunnel turns away and corkscrews up. And then it's Carrick. Oh, oh that was so good. Thank you. There's a pressure plate. We we figured that part out. The wolf did at least. Oh good. Okay. I'm just imagining the wolf, like, right before he gets on the pressure plate doing the old Flintstones thing. It's a living. So, do you have these tools or not? Uh, yes. Yes, you do? I guess How about you see if you can, um, see if you can, um, jam the, um, jam the um, pressure plate so it doesn't move and cross it. Well, the wolf is still standing on the plate wherever you were. 
So maybe it's jammed now. So technically, I think you're standing on the plate right now. Is... No, I moved down. The plate's about here, I think. Plate's right in the center of the tunnel. Okay. Um, I'm going to go up and not step on the pressure plate, but look, does the wolf seem like he's still, like it's still down? Well, the wolf's holding down the other plate. Okay, but this plate is 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 raised up. You can see where the plate is. Um, what he's asking you to do is is make it where the plate where won't, this plate won't go down when weight is put put on it. I can certainly make that attempt. Okay. Well, your thieves tools. So they'll be on the left hand side. There would be a um, what's it called? A tool. Tool pushes. Well, if you get fire kindling, you can just jam a scotch in it. Backpipes won't. <laughs> Find out. All right, I have thieves tool, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to click if I'm clicking something. Um. Okay, hold on. Just a second. Is that it? Okay. Where's active? Has, active filigree. It has a little question mark by proficiency, which is kind of the same question mark I have about most things. Um, yeah, you put, you put proficient, you go to, you click the down, the drop box, you go to proficient, and you go to the um, attribute, and you put dexterity. That was the forgery kit, that was not the... Yeah, I don't think that's going to work here. I forge a roll. thing that I, I, I stuff my <laughs> calligraphy pen into the, into the crack. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got it. Um, someone, uh, barbarian, go run across to see if it worked. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> there you go. I'll be back in just a second. Yeah, if you drop it from the pan, if you drop three tools from the pan, it will pop it over there in the tools box. Except now it's not letting me cancel it, so it's just kind of in the way. There it goes. Okay. So do y'all want to continue with the? No, but I think that might be the best option. I'm continuing to look for traps as we go down through here. Yeah, that's probably the safest idea is let him go first. I don't find that to be the safest idea, but nevertheless, I will do my Let's rogue. Read. Let me know where if I need to roll something. Okay, hold on just a second. Well, I check something here because uh, thirty four. Okay, cute. Run, run away. Trying to. This is not very clear the way this is written. Okay. Yeah, All right. You can keep going. How can it be hard to write the way is clear and perfectly safe? All right. Quarter ends a block of stone on which is painted a seven foot tall jackal headed humanoid with a circular gold medallion around its neck. All around the figure are carvings of locusts. Hey, Carrie, go back and tell him I found Jackal Flava Flav. He's fine. Now, did we tell these two the story of the dwarf dying to the locusts? Don't oh, no. no, but nope. uh, Carrie's right there. All right, so when. So if he doesn't immediately turn into the room with a deadly locust, he can relay that. So once when we see this and everything, go back and let them know, get them out up to where we're at. So kind of an interesting thing happens when you relay the information. <coughs> the druid, who's been unwilling to go into these tunnels until they've been cleared, gets a really determined look on her face and starts marching down that tunnel. I've got your back. She's not, but you'll see what's happening here in a moment. Uh, hello. Okay, Bruner. Um, the corridor turns sharply to the left. At the corridor, corner just before the turn, a peephole is carved in the stone wall at a height of six feet. Peephole. It's right here. Um, gives you a... Clear view of the gold medallion in area 35A. 
There is a and hieroglyph. The six-inch diameter gold disc engraved with the face of a horned devil, its mouth agape. Lodged between the disc is a clay is a clay dial etched with eight hieroglyphs. One hieroglyph, a vulture, is visible through the hole that forms the devil's gaping mouth. And so you can see the and filigree. Make me a perception check. Nice. It was the thieves told them it was nice. That's good enough. Uh, let's see. Thirty-five. Yes. One of the carved locusts is a button that can be pressed. <laughs> yeah, this is going to end well. How many people are in here? <laughs> well, I'm looking at a peephole. So. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know that if it's six feet up, so that's about three feet more than E. Um, um, you guys Garrett. encountered anything to do with button pressing? You said something about locusts. My tell. What, what, what was the what triggered you? What are you looking for? I uh, get uh, here. Go press that button. I'm gonna hear what the druid said before I go pressing. Wait, which I can't. Check wait, isn't the which spirit is the druid possessed with? The um rogue, the um cow. Okay. I can't remember. Opaloka. Oh, okay. Opaloka. Well, first to answer their question, uh, tell them the story about the dwarf that we saw uh, get killed by a swarm of locusts. So this button of a locust, and she doesn't answer you immediately, Cleric, Carrick. Um, this button of a locust is not the same thing as a hieroglyph that you're, that that you're looking true. at. Is that true? And the hieroglyph has what feature? Something that can be inserted into it or... It is a it is a symbol inside the mouth of a it's it's another one of the, it's a it's a golden um so it's a specific hieroglyph that it's a it's a symbol right that is visible okay got it. um and it's on a cl it's on a clay tablet behind a mouth of a uh, demon you know one of those golden demon faces all right. So, uh, okay, I see the whole thing. So the druid kind of steps past Carrick, and as she does so, she says, take that ring off and pushes the button. <laughs> he takes the ring off. Okay. So the stone slides into the floor and gives you a view into... Dynamic lighting. Mm -hmm. And give me just a second before you all do anything here. There is a... Okay. Four torches illuminate stone sphinxes crouched in the corners of the 15-foot high room. The torches cast flickering light across hieroglyphics carved into the tile floor. At the center of the room, a gold-inlaid funeral barge stands atop a three-foot high tall stone dais. Resting on the back of the barge is a small golden sarcophagus decorated with horned rabbits. A dark shaft opens in the ceiling directly above the barge while to the south fang the corridor is visible through the set of skeleton of a dwarf sprawls on the floor east of the barge, clad in tattered yellow turban and dusty chainmail, and clutching a bronze shield. Alright, and that symbol doesn't do to be a dwarf in this game, does it? That symbol that our um, that Brunner saw is it uh, evident anywhere in here? Yes. Hold on, just a minute, while I that's rules. That's so the symbol that he saw on the rock is the first symbol. The uh, right inside the entryway. Yeah. Hang on here. Trying to. Zoom in and it's not cooperating. Oh, whatever. Yeah, the image is exactly yeah. huge. So, like the ugly duckling there? Yeah, that's supposed to be a vulture. And what symbol is under the, the dwarf? Looks like one of those feet. Has, so we saw the end two so saw... up from it. No problem. I get it. So the dwarf. I, I shared. 
I shared a copy of the image, so if you want to, um, you, you can zoom no, in on it. I, I, I did manage to get something up. I could zoom and see enough of it. So those the vultures kind of appears everywhere. So okay, no problem. I get it. Um, well, she does what she's always done in this dungeon. She bypasses the trap. She turns into a uh, flying snake and just flies on over to the thing, never touching anything on the, on that floor. Okay. Um, you're unable to open the sarcophagus. You mean in that form or period? Uh, I'll give you period. All right. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll look around and see if there's anything there that might indicate why that is. That's a plus number. Okay. Runner. Yes. In your head, you hear, damn it, why won't this damn thing open? Okay. I ask it, is something, is it, is it supposed to be opening now? Matsu, you hear, is it supposed to be opening now <laughs> in your head? Well, I would really like it to, yes. Close it, close it, close it up again. Okay, I think we can think out loud in here. Oh, is that Bruno? And I assume That's we're Bruno. hearing Carrick. Well, you could hear Carrick no if he says something because he's right there. But Bruner is hearing no, I mean, what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah, you might you might want to cover your mind, uh, Bruner, think, uh, because <laughs> she's not thinking happy thoughts. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> to quote every young boy ever, I think I'm looking through a magical peephole that's allowing us. To communicate mentally. Do I see anything while looking through this peephole? Uh, right now you can see the funeral bar with the sarcophagus in it. All right. Let's see if I see anything special. And you see Matsu as a, a flying snake. And uh, so anything special about the. Um... This is the other side of that jackal head. Yeah. Uh, nothing particularly special. Um, let's see. Could you fit through there in that form? It's tiny, so maybe. Maybe. Well, the only thing I got left is to actually try hitting these uh, floor tiles with that shape on it, which is pretty damn risky, but. For what I'm trying to do, she's willing to do it. So, all right. Let's start with, let's see, that was, come on, stop that. So there's one, two, there are two that are immediately adjacent to the, uh, to the platform that's holding up the boat. So she'll try the one to the, to the south. Uh, believe that is okay, this one hold on a minute and just kind of okay it. so you land on it mm -hmm. slides back up into the ceiling slides back up into the into the uh into the quarter um hold on just a second the oh. move dial bruner you can now see the dial from where you're at and now it's showing a serpent Serpent, serpent. No, yeah, no. yeah. I, oh, I got to dance. Fine. All right. Let me find a serpent. I had to detach this so I can see the map and the and the floor at the same time. Oh, let's see here. Oh, okay. Let's see. So there's one just diagonally. So it fly up and land, or there's one there, but this is the one I see. Okay. It's right next to me. So, and it changes again this time to a uh, door. A door. Uh, what is this like charades? Oh, Lord. Okay. A door. So there's a door. Where's okay? There's oh, right next to the okay. sphinx. So there's a door right over here, according to the, to the thing. Land on the door. Uh, a reed. I now see a reed. 
Okay. So she flies up and kind of looks around and I think hold on. There was, there was one can you only hear what I say or can you kind of visualize what I'm thinking very loudly about? Because I'm thinking there's a reed here. It has three stalks to it. Is that what I see? I reply yes. yes. That would be it. Okay. Now it's a scarab. There's a scarab, I believe, right next to it. So fine. Yes. That's it. Now it's a scepter. Okay, right Wait, diagonally yes. to it. I believe so. It's got to be dancing for crying out loud. I feel like we've fallen into that episode of Deep Space Nine mm -hmm. where they put the guys into the game. <laughs> mm hmm. <coughs> What up? What's next? Foot. I don't have any. Foot. I'm a snake. I'm a flying foot. snake. I don't have any feet. Uh, right in front of the boat. There's one. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. And an urn. 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 Where's an urn? Oh, right, right next there. to where I'm at. So like, it's okay. Day and laying down. Yes. Right next. And the sarcophagus opens, and the stone block sinks back into the floor. Hooray. Fly over to the sarcophagus and turn back to normal. Okay, what's in there? Let's see here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Good boy. The fragile bones of an alma, say, almirage. As well, it's is its spiral horn, hmm. and typically there's been like some thing, jewelry or a weapon well, or the, something. The, the animal form itself is is it's just old bones, but the is, horn looks okay, fresh and new. Carrick, you have the ring off. I you do. didn't hand it to anybody else? I did not hand it to anybody else. Okay. Obaluka, there's a 50-50 chance. You're perfectly fine, dead god, but you're really cramping my style. So hopefully see you. Grab the horn. Streamers of light emanate from the tip of the horn. As they twirl around you, they form into a spectral rabbit with a single horn on its brow. A female voice whispers, quick, quick, let me in. We must stop the Syrac. That's the idea. And, and I would like, it's, hey, I have a point to make before you do the battle of wills thing. Oh, but look, it's much safer for you. In don't the you rink. think? Now, you don't have to be out here to help. You know what the goal is to go after a Sirach. That's where we're headed anyway. But you're making me very ineffectual just by being here. So why don't you just Go back in the ring. It'll help everybody. Keep you safer. Okay, I'll 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 I'll, I'll give that to you. You now have Egyptian spirit in you. <sighs> what a nightmare! <laughs> Anybody got a current? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, Doc? Um, and she goes over and has has a little bag. Give me, look, give me the ring. Make sure nobody else gets it, but I also made a promise to the little guy, so. Gotcha. Dancing. Who? who eh, don't answer that. We know who came up with all this stuff. Oh. That poor dwarf. I posted the rabbit. Your dexterity score becomes 23 yeah. unless it is already higher. Oh, sorry. I should have given that to the uh, to the rogue, but. You didn't have a druid there for a while, several games. So I think it's a good trade off. Very much like screw the road. Runs very close to that anyway. Cool. And if you want to use it, the, the uh, um, spiraling horn is a wand of wonder. The Fumzaba. I'll remember that. Let's see. The, the dwarf. Um, the dwarf has two one-inch diameter crystal eyeballs. 
in in a pouch. I uh, I go to character. Go, oh yeah, here's this and hand him the eyeball I picked up. Then come the pair. That's gonna make it harder. One dark blue and one vibrant purple. Um, he has non magical chain shield, a non magical non magical chain mail, a non magical shield. Um, he's got a turban set with a pyridot gemstone worth 500 gold pieces and a belt pouch containing a 500 gold piece diamond, valuable diamond. Take the stuff, wrap him up in his cloak. Take his stuff and wrap hmm. him up in, a cloak, in, his, in, in his cloak. Okay. Oh, it is a sad day when someone in the group dies. We'll mourn his death forever. Quick, get your stuff. I mean, it's not doing him any good any longer, so... Night talks. Ask Orvix. What do you think Bruner's peeping on? He's really invested in it. Okay, that being done, there is another passage over here to the far right. But um, it is. Uh, we haven't seen it. We haven't seen it for its connection points. Good thing we don't really come up with plans, huh? Hey, where's this door go? This door here? No, yeah, come on up, Rogue. Take a look. Oh, how'd you guys get over here already? Hmm. All right, I'm looking. What am I saying? Here. Traps on this door here. And ignore the matrix. Almost rolled. Hey, buddy. Almost rolled performance, which <laughs> I don't think would help me at all here. Doesn't stop Brunner. Okay. Hmm. There is no... Um, you don't see Looks anything like trap, and the door does appear to be unlocked. I, let's open it then. What's the worst thing? You sure that the... Uh, hold on a minute. I thought he was going to say, are you sure you want to say that <laughs> as you open a door? It's the Zen Bassmaster motto has to be said. Open door as far as I... I thought the Zen Bassmaster motto was not to stand in front of Seraph. Part of it. That's, that, is, that is a... Yeah. It's not really a motto so much as it is a rule to stay of alive. Safety briefing. Yeah, that's not what's the worst that can happen. That's that's the worst that can happen. Okay, guys, we got a witch in here. Bill agree. A witch. Uh, that is a four people move and, and start doing anything. Um, so agree. That looks like you from behind doesn't resemble me at all um no see there's the bald spot um there's a mirror or something in here i look like an old lady all right reluctant well i wasn't gonna say anything but now that you mention it it is facing away from you um so okay what exactly do you do filigree uh reluctantly step into the room okay the old lady went it away it steps forward with you okay what's this uh what's this uh thing okay. in the middle here the chamber contains a stone font filled with steaming green liquid beyond it a shadowy figure stands at an open door on the far side of the room the figure's back is toward yeah, you what? So that's what you saw when you opened the door. Wasn't there something to do with the font in the in the little riddle we had and a shadow? Slake your shadow at the font. Where the heck are you supposed to slake a shadow? Like with, Open suggestion. Can I wave the sword around until your shadow hits the um until your shadow hits the cauldron? I'm not sure that's uh, how that I'm not sure that he's ever going to, but I can certainly try. Disappears into the wall. Carrick has a flaming sword, so he's standing behind you. You you cast your shadow around. I don't think that's if you want him back, I think I gotta go here again. See? There's your problem. Ah. Ah, one step back. There we go. All right, Nitox, what was the next <laughs> what was the next line of that? Because we have slaked, I think. We only get one line. Next Three. line is the vulture that we just did. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Um, 
I, I have slaked. I open, I'm open to suggestions of what we do from here. Tell us about the door right there. I can uh, cross over the door. I don't know if my shadow is going to move. One way to find out, I guess. Is that a door or a mirror? That is a door. That is a door. Okay. Examine said door. and It's open. Okay. I would say taking votes, put my shadow back in the in the font and let someone else step through or me step through, but I'm relatively sure I know how y'all are going to vote, so I'll just step What's through the worst that can happen. You said the door is open. Yes, it is. Can I not step through the door? Yeah, you, well, you should be able to. Oh, oh, I see. It's got a light. For some reason, they've got a dynamic lighting, even though it says the door will open. Okay. What am I looking at here? Wall. Okay. Thanks. It seems to be nice and solid and stone and well made. Okay. Carrick, stay there a second. Let me slate my shadow again and see if that. Will you move back to where Stardust was? I mean, where Callista is, right? Yeah. Kal yeah, where where I was when the shadow was over the font. Eric, right, what do you Eric, do? Is that wall. The, the the shadow walks back with him and follows. I'm gonna shift my door. Actually, how did you how did you do that? Did you just turn around and walk back to the uh, to that point? Yeah, I just kind of walked around the. Okay. And back to um, the... Carrick, Rat, and Callista all make wisdom saves. Thanks. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Again. I don't have to make wisdom saves. Obviously, I was the wise one. Carrick, can I re-roll that wisdom save? Uh, Callista, do you have anything that makes you immune to fear? Uh, um, I don't know. Let's see. Probably not. I think when raging is something that yeah it would be raging. Shoot, I didn't mean to. Not unless something from the tiefling goes. No, I don't think so. The shadow duplicate had a terrible and deadly aspect. Any creature that looks upon its That's face is a horrific village locked in a silent visage, locked in a silent screen, must succeed a DC 50 wisdom saving throw. You're unconscious. Ow! I don't like that. Well, I know what's going to happen next. Okay. Um, time to time to zap it. I'll take. I'll keep that twenty four if you don't mind. Yeah, that's fine. I'll see here. I Where's the man? And now, Carrick. <laughs> every, I'm sorry. Every time my mouth has a space bar, space button, and every time I tap that button, it, you know, it's my ring finger <laughs> on my pinky. Actually, it's great for jump puzzles. Horrible for them. Anything, just like anything else. Anybody else want to roll initiative? No, we're too far. The rest of y'all really don't know much of what's right. going on because, you know, y'all just all... Yeah, we're just... just screamed in horror and collapsed. Oh, my God. The shadow got worse initiative than I did. Yeah, it did, yeah. It's, 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 the rest of y'all are kind of out of position, so we'll just go with that. Okay, Matt, what do you do? Let's see. Bruno or... Is standing right there. I see. I see. Carrick is about to do what Carrick does. So I turn around. I see Brunor's there. I see the halfling is, you know, doing the Blair Witch facing the wall. Um, and then I see uh, Callista's collapsed. So I cast this on Brunor and say, "Get in there and kill that thing." And I tell uh, the halfling, "Don't turn around." Or actually, yeah. Your commerce Carrick, Yeah, don't turn around. Kirk didn't actually, he's, he's seen it. Yeah, he saw it coming. So, so it, doesn't yeah, really, saw it, coming. it doesn't really matter what the, what he does. Yeah. Bruno, that should protect you from the fear effect. <laughs> Bruno goes, leave room. Then runs the room. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of, that was kind of uh, uh, impressive uh, uh, because of the uh, fact that they were overlapping each other. But, I, I 
I just went in and just made the minor change of setting her hit points to zero. So, oh boy, <laughs> I'm assuming this is the the shadow thing right here. Yes, it looks awful. Is it like so awful? I missed. Okay, both oh, those hit. It's like exactly <laughs> like filigree. And I'm filigree does not look awful. Thank you very much. <laughs> that must be the third greatest lover in the realm. Uh, see, so your glaive is not a, um, your glaive is yes. a normal weapon, right? Okay, so a normal weapon, it just passes right through. I'm sorry. You did, you, you hit it, but it didn't do anything. I have a solution for that. And to, uh, no, don't, don't move from that spot, because that's what's keeping it there on the sensor. Oh, no, I have a, I have a no, I wasn't talking to you, I was once. talking about to the gnome who's about to go next. Oh, once the gnome saw that the glaive didn't do anything, the gnome has no intention of leaving the spot. That's okay. that's that's self preservation. I was, uh, I was gonna drop. I was gonna do an action surge. Drop my glaive. Pull okay, out Bob. Go ahead. Okay, it's dead. It just <laughs> poof vanishes. Doesn't make a sound. Just she Bob pick up my glaive and then. Uh, start healing Calista. Oh, I can do that too. Yeah, healing would be good. Well, we got a healing potion. We got a stabilizer first. <laughs> no, don't, don't use a hit. Let's start that. There you then you're, that'll get you from zero, and we can use uh, we can use a short rest to kind of heal you up some more. So, what was the room? So, Eric, was there anything in here? What was in the sensor? Uh, it looks like um, in the end. some kind of slowly boiling green soupy soup. Very but how does it smell? It has no smell. Search the bottom of it. Uh, you fruits and vegetables. You don't find anything. Uh, the liquid has no substance and the font is dry. Will it fit in that hole? You'd have to break it off of the floor. Ah, never mind. Well, is this a good room to rest up in and let Callista recover? Yeah, I think so. Give her some of the soup. Soup's good for sick people. I think he's trying to kill me. I am not. I offered you a healing potion. But these guys healed you up before you needed it, so. All right, um, so hit dice. Um, well, Steve, you use them all of the time, so you explain hit dice to, to them because both of them have taken some damage. Well, I think Dirt, Dirt. Phil agrees. Dirt. Phil agrees taking his at full health. No, I'm slightly below full health. I went down 16 and then up like 13. Okay. So yeah, I'm three three down full health. I've just been changing it on my character sheet. Yeah. But there's a hit dice button that says how many total hit dice you have. You hit the hit dice button and you'll heal that amount, which is probably a D10 or whatever your whatever your hit point die is. Constitute plus your own. And you'll heal that up every for every every hit die you use. And you get a hit die every level. So I have nine hit die. And I used one of them now and another eight, and I healed 13 points of damage. And you recharge half of your total every long rest. Yeah, I'm still confused. Yeah. All right, you see the you see the box underneath hit points? It says hit points. Yeah. Um, it says a total, and then it has, okay, and then it has, so drop a die down to not from whatever total mm -hmm. is nine down to eight, and hit the hit button where it says hit dice. Oh, you did it. That, yeah, you heal seven points of damage. You heal five points of damage with the next one. Okay. You still need to put it in as as how much you yeah. heal, but yeah. And you, yeah. Okay. Then you have your levels worth of hit dice that you can spend. And like Neff was saying, you get half of that um, back for every long rest that we take. But you can spend these hit dice whenever we take a short rest. Okay. A lot of our school we, we refresh on a long rest or on a short rest. And then the ones that don't do it on a short rest, we'll do it on a long rest. 
My rolling sucks. Welcome to roll 20. The logarithms hate you. It likes to let you critical on a uh, initiative roll, and when you have to do a dramatically necessary major hit, you roll a one. Well, at least I knocked somebody unconscious this time. Yeah. <laughs> That's 75 by my count. 12, 24. But I'd already gotten some healing. Yeah, 13 points. That's what stabilized you from zero. Does that not top you off between all that? That started with the wrong one. I'm... Also, that 13, you, you, you also had uh, a six in there for the higher level cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Yeah. Once I get all my exactly in there. Cool. All right. You have a lot of hit points. I do. I do. <laughs> I'm sitting here with my 57 hit points going oh, dang. Out a long time ago. Most barbarians are meant to be a tank. Yeah, he picked a good mm -hmm. one. They dropped a zero mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. Are you sure the shadow wasn't played by Seroff? <laughs> Seroff does like to drop barbarians <laughs> at the beginning of fights. That is very true. When Bruner killed it, a business <laughs> card floated to the ground and it said just tear off time. He's franchising now. Great. Sir, I was looking for people like you. You ain't selling no way products, are you? Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Selling yeah. a franchise yeah. and sucker shooting his own party members here. That's... It was your horrific visage. Well, you know, it's. I feel like he's got some kind of game going here <laughs> where he, you know, shoots shoots his own people and then he's got to deal uh, with whatever the Dragon's uh, version of Alexander Shinara is. And I, I like to think the business card has a black background with blood red lettering. <laughs> Comic Sans. <laughs> well, we always joke Bart Durham's a necromancer. Yeah, he's, he's a lich. It might be. All right, so having healed up, uh, taking a short rest there, um, what are you all going to do next? So you have a, a mirror with a bunch of indentations, and how many eyeballs do we have, and what colors are they? We have seven of ten. Okay. You should have Two nine. Left. Yeah, we picked up some more after that, so we got nine. The the one that we didn't get a pairing on was this thing uh, over here. rotating. Well, technically we did. We had that quartz. Well, the quartz was just had one, and then our um, dwarven corpse over here had two. So this guy, he he failed his mission. He only got the one. We don't know where the other one might be. Yeah, y'all have nine. <laughs> The one room we didn't check very much was way over here, um, northeast. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, northeast of the boar head. The boar might have eyes. Well, we we beat it to a pulp. I mean, if it did. But you're talking about this room here? That's where the yeah, I don't think we frog god guy came that. from. There's a bunch of shelves on the east wall yeah, there. Went. I don't know that we've... Y'all searched it pretty good. Y'all yeah. didn't find any eyeballs there. Does the floating skull insulting Bruner have eyes? It's not insulting Bruner. It's insulting Eldred. Oh, that's right. I do that. So what was the deal with uh, this over here? You had this room with the door that didn't open. But you have this thing. That's the rotating room. Uh, one floor higher was an observation room that was like right about here. Yeah. A golem sitting by a switch staring in there. And when we turned the switch on, the room started uh, rotating and filled with gas, but we weren't in there at the time. This is true. And the, the spiral staircase leads um, up and down. I can't remember which way we went. No, we've. I'm going to wait for somebody with the with the. Bundle of weapons before I go through the that. 
but I'm, I mean, I'm going to kind of walk through the halls that I have not walked through Well, there's, there's all the weapons. There's another there's copy of all the weapons on these two walls here. Oh, okay. I'll grab, grab a set and go walk through. I mean, my, my passive perception is 19, so I want to see if there's anything that I just happened to see that the gang didn't notice fly over that. Mm hmm not going to do anything else in the in the shadow room. No, let's look around. You investigate. Did that wall turn into anything else? Or is it still just a wall? The walls are still just walls. They're very wall-like. I'm going to leave this room because that, that shadow is very disorientating. That's... Trying to decide whether breaking down this mask over here or um, dealing with the water curtain would be more difficult. Battery man would go through this mask. I mean, we can walk through the current easy now. There's scarab traps in that other room. Uh, okay. All right, fair everybody down then. I assume y'all can get through there. It's not that difficult. Just have to relay weapons to get through with that i'll tell you what let's uh call it a night let's call it for the night because it's 10 30. good show guy so i'm posting this to um the, the, the um the um the saturday night gaming chat so this um somebody's put this on um on um so we post this to the cyberpunk web page. Uh, that it, so get it up here. Speaking of cyberpunk, is cyberpunk next week? Yes. Sounds good. Drone ads. I put on the I posted. Hmm. That's been, drone that's ads. Cyberpunk. Huh? And the in the video game, there's certain sections of the city that actually have ads in the sky going all the way to the stratosphere. A new life awaits you in the alt world colonies. A chance yep. to begin again. All right. Well, good deal. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Yes. Good game. And fall back tonight. Yep. All right. Yep. Yep. See you tomorrow, Matthew. Okay. Okay. You got to pick up. I will. All right. Well, everybody, uh, have yep. a good one. And, um, uh, yeah, Joan, just let us know about that uh, get-together. Yeah, I will. Be, be yeah, glad, I will. happy to attend it. This Sunday or next, next Sunday? Sunday. Next Sunday. Missy okay. needs, needed a week to finagle off work. Yep. Yep. Totally understand. <laughs> I'll pass it on along to Kay and see if she can get it. Yeah, I need to actually go down to Las Trojas. And, do they have like a party room? Because I'm thinking we're going to need something out of the middle of everything with Mike's wheelchair. They don't have a party room, I, th I think. But they, it would be a setup like we had, you know. They can put a bunch of tables okay. together. Should be enough space. Right, I'm just, I know how narrow it is. That's my only concern. Now, Fuente has a party room. I'll but, talk to them now. But you know, it's it's probably bigger than we would be able to fill. So Missy wasn't sure right. about getting. We weren't sure about getting it through the single door at La Fuente. Oh yeah. Okay. Gotcha. That's a good point. Well, or at least not easily. We don't want to cause any more damage. It's already been done. So yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've heard good things about that new Mexican restaurant where Cattlemen's used to be, but I don't know anything about whether they would have a party room or how big it is or anything. Same problem with yeah, the entrance, it's just a single door. They have a secondary mm -hmm. room, but it's pretty small. It, it is good, though. I mean, yeah, it, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to give it a try sometime. Our fallback option was Shoney, so we're very happy that, that Las Trojas worked. <laughs> Right, because no one wants Tony's. Yeah, so 
Well, just be well, all, and we will see you soon. Take okay. care, guys. Bye-bye. Good night, y'all. Good night, all. All right. We'll see you all later. See you.